Ptolemy Greek, Ptolemy was one of the five cities that formed the Pentapolis of Cyrenaica, the others being Cyrene, Yasparides later Berenice, and now Benghazi, Tauchira, Tuchira later Arsino, and now Takra, and Apollonia now Susa. Its ruins are at a small village in modern Libya called Tolmeta Arabic Tolmit, after the ancient name. History The city was founded by and named after one of the rulers of the Ptolemaic kingdom, probably Ptolemy III Yurgits What had been a small Greek settlement of unknown name that originated in the late 7th century BC and that acted as a port for the city of Barca, 24 kilometers 15 miles inland, he transformed into a city that enclosed 280 hectares within its walls. Ptolemy probably served as the residence of the Ptolemaic governor of the region but, in spite of its large area, its population did not rival that of Cyrene, which under Roman rule became the capital of the region that, from then on, and still today, is called Cyrenaica. However, the term, Pentapolis, also continued to be used. Ptolemy became a Roman possession in 96 BC. It was soon included in the Roman province of Crete and Cyrenaica. With Diocletian's alteration of the administrative structure, Ptolemy became the capital of the province of Libya Superior or Libya Pentapolis. It later decayed and was replaced as capital of the province by Apollonia. The 365 Crete earthquake struck the region and destroyed all the five major cities of the Pentapolis. Ptolemy survived the tragedy in relatively good condition. It served as capital of Cyrenaica until 428. The city was destroyed by the Vandals after they established their kingdom in 439. During the reign of Justinian I the city was rebuilt, but it never regained its powers and was again destroyed during the Muslim conquest of the Maghreb in the 7th century. <laughs> Remains Buried in the sands, the town's ruins have been remarkably well preserved. Excavation of the site began in the 1930s, revealing a planned city of rectangular shape, some 1650 by 1,400 meters about one square mile and composed of blocks of about 180 by 36 meters. It held a hippodrome, an amphitheater and three theaters, the smallest of which, used as an odeon, was adapted for water spectacles in the 4th or 5th century. A Roman aqueduct, probably of the time of Hadrian, brought water from 20 kilometers away, which was stored in two large open reservoirs in the east of the city, while further west a porticoed space, now called the Square of the Cisterns, stood above a set of 17 vaulted cisterns, capable of holding 7,000 kiloliters. These were rediscovered during the Italian occupation, when they were found to be used as a hiding place for rebels, two or three hundred of whom could easily hide in them. West of the city stands a conspicuous and tower like Hellenistic mausoleum, known as Khazar Pharaon. There are many chambered tombs in the quarries east and west of the city, which have yielded a few tombstones and numerous inscriptions. Important sculptures and inscriptions have also been found within the city, including imperial edicts such as that by which Diocletian attempted to fix prices. In 2001, an archaeological mission from Warsaw University started excavations on the site. In May 2011, a number of objects excavated from Ptolemy in 1937 and held in the vault of the National Commercial Bank in Benghazi were stolen. Looters tunneled into the vault and broke into two safes that held the artifacts which were part of the so-called Benghazi treasure. The objects have not been traced. <laughs> Bishopric The Ptolemy of Libya, whose ruins are located near the Libyan city of Tolmeda, was also the seat of the ancient Christian bishopric of Libya Pentapolitana. Ptolemy became a Catholic Church diocese at an early stage, since it seems to have been the see of the Pentapolitan bishop Basilides, to whom, in a letter of about 260 quoted by Eusebius, Pope Dionysus of Alexandria said he had sent a copy of a commentary on Ecclesiastes. Another early bishop of Ptolemy is Saint Theodore of Sicon, martyred during the anti-Christian persecutions. The First Council of Nicaea confirmed the custom whereby the Bishop of Alexandria held authority over the churches in the Pentapolis, although they were not situated in the same Roman province. Accordingly, none of the bishoprics in the Pentapolis was a metropolitan see for the others, but all acted as suffragan bishops of Alexandria. Ptolemy was the home of Arius, after whom the Arianism condemned at Nicaea in 325 was named. 
Secundus, who was bishop of Ptolemy and a patron of Arius, is listed among those present at the council. He refused to accept its decree and was deposed by the bishop of Alexandria, but later recovered power. His Arian successor Stephanus was deposed in about 360. Synesius was bishop of Ptolemy from about 407 to 413, and was succeeded by his brother Avoptius, who took part in the Council of Ephesus 431, which condemned Nestorius. The Acts of the Second Council of Constantinople 553 were signed by Georgius of Ptolemy. The last bishop of Ptolemy mentioned by the sources is Gabriel 6th century, the signing Archbishop Gabriel Pentapolis. Information on all of these can be found, for instance, in Michel Lequien's work, no longer a residential bishopric, Ptolemy in Libya is today listed by the Catholic Church as a titular see. The current archbishop, personal title, is Cyril Vasile, secretary of the Congregation for the Oriental Churches. Known bishops Basilide mentioned in about 260, Saint Theodorus before 321 to 325 deposited Arian bishop Secundus of Ptolemy about 325 Arian bishop Stephanus about 360 deposed Arian bishop Sidrio apostolic administrator Synesius about 407 to 413 Euipsius mentioned in 431 Giorgio mentioned in 553 Gabriele Raphael Virola 1915 to 1925 Cesare Orsenigo 1922 to 1946 Carlo Angelari 1948 to 1979 Cyril Vasile from 2009 current Topic References Topic External links Ptolemy, home page Polish, English. Excavations, preliminary reports Ptolemy survey, Libya Ptolemy city